flow, spin, grow. Looking for patterns in nature by Patchen Bars. Look, climb, dig, flow. Breathe in deep, around you go. Twirl, whirl, swirl, grow. Explore, find more, join the show. Look, you can find patterns almost anywhere. Climb, a tree trunk splits, limbs divide, branches split and split again. Dig, under the ground, tree roots also fork and spread. Tiny rootlets seek water and nutrients, just as leafy branches reach for sunlight. Flow. Mountain rain and melting ice form tiny rivulets. Water burbles. Tumbling streams combine to form huge rivers. These winding, watery paths look so much like a spreading tree that we call them branches, too. Breathe in deep. Branches also spread through your body. They move air in and out of your lungs and carry blood to and from your heart. Wherever there's flow, there's branching. Nature loves to spin. A tree feels solid, but it's really made up of spinning particles so small you can't even see them. They have names like protons, photons, neutrons, and electrons. Everything you can see or touch is made out of those same tiny particles. Stones, stars, cars, people. Every tiny part of them is spinning, even when they seem perfectly still. Around you go. Twirl. The earth spins too, turning us toward the sun and away again, making day and night. The earth's gravity swings the moon in huge circles around our spinning planet. The earth and the moon circle the sun. Whirl. Our whirling sun follows an even bigger curve around the center of our galaxy. Galaxies spin, too. When moving objects push and pull one another, they start spinning. Swirl. Trees and galaxies share another pattern. They both have spirals. You can find spirals in pine cones and pigtails in storm clouds and swirling eddies and seashells, in galactic halos, and inside your own ears. Grow. Spirals appear where things grow or shrink. Plants and shells spiral out. Storms and galaxies spiral in. Explore. Patterns appear again and again, sometimes in the most unexpected places. Try to find out why. There's almost always an amazing explanation. Branches tell you that something is flowing. Moving objects make each other spin. Spirals mean that something is growing or shrinking. These patterns are just the start. Keep looking. Leopard spots and ladybug dots. Ocean waves and mountain peaks. Lightning bolts and cracks in the sidewalk. Find more. Patterns are everywhere you look, even in the mirror. The same patterns that connect trees to rivers and particles to planets also connect you to all of those things. Join the show. Look, dig, explore. 
You're not just discovering patterns. You're part of the show. You can find patterns all around you in art, in architecture, even in the grocery store. Wherever there is design, there is a pattern. The same is true in nature. The same patterns pop up again and again in leaves, in trees, even in your own lungs. Let's take a closer look. First, we'll need lots of leaves. Take a walk outside and collect the leaves from different trees. Different trees make different shapes of leaves. Some are pointed, some are round, some are wavy. Which ones look the same and which look different? Notice the different colors on these leaves. In the spring, they were all green, but in the fall, they turn yellow, red, orange, and brown. Pick out some different types of leaves and arrange them on a table. Carefully place a piece of paper over the leaves and tape down the corners. Peel off the wrapper of a crown. Use the flat side of the crown to rub over the sheet of paper. Soon, you'll start to see the shape of the leaf coming through. You can do the whole picture in one color or try different colors. You may need to press on the paper with your hand to stop the leaves from moving underneath as you rub. When it's finished, look closely at the shape of the leaves. Can you see the stem of each leaf? Do you see the veins branching out from the stems? Count the large veins branching from the stem, and then count the smaller veins branching off from those. You can also do your leaf rubbing one leaf at a time. Lift up a corner of the paper and slip the leaf underneath. Press the tape back down, then rub your crown over just the section of paper with the leaf underneath it. Remove the first leaf and add another. This time, use a different color crown. This will really make the leaves stand out from each other. Try out different ways of arranging the leaves. Let's make one with all the stems pointing down. Hmm, the shape of these leaves reminds me of something. Try coloring the bottom of the page green. Does it look familiar now? Do you see the trees? Leaves and trees have a pattern of growth called a fractal. Every fractal shape has smaller parts that look like the whole shape. A tree starts with a stem, which splits into branches, which each split into more branches, until the smallest branches split into twigs, which carry leaves. And the leaves are made of a stem, which branches into smaller and smaller veins. Fractals grow in nature all around you. Just keep looking and you'll spot the pattern. For more information about receiving STEAM kits in the mail, visit the Kids and Families page at coosbaylibrary.org.